So let's make this A4 paper. First, going to create a plant. We can name it A4. Make this size as big as A4. That is the size of A4. Let's put it, this number down. So it's like 210 mm. 297. Okay, so that is the size of A4. Then we just uh, buy this we'll transform so now let's go to the animal and then let's cut it um loop cut you select this and hit ctrl r then you will see some yellow line so what we want is cut it like a almost like a square so make it like this and enter and then let's ctrl r again and cut it over here one time okay so now we got this and we just subdivide this subdivide more time that's one more okay so somewhere around here will be good enough now we got this piece of paper and then let's go to the geometry node create a new geometry on top of this and we can name this to be like a4 what we want is to make uh, some noise for it to be not so flat so we will have this kind of texture on top of it let's create a displace modifier let's create a texture for it and then go to this texture and give a cloud and let's make it not so strong let's see something like this first then go to the modifier make it less strong we got this noise for it but it's very smooth it almost like a cloth or something but it's not like what we want because if you see it this paper the structure actually it have some hard edge so be able to do that we can use this decimate modifier and put it on top of the displace modifier so let's try to bring this number down and turn around your wireframe you will see it become like a less detail you got like a, this kind of triangle looks we almost have this kind of structure but uh it's quite even so we need to use this geometry node to make some noise use the noise to drive this vector group so let's do that first we create an empty vertex group create two and the second one we can name it to be noise that is an empty vertex group we can store some attribute inside of that use a store name attribute then this to be this noise okay and use a noise texture first we can just plug it in and now we try to use this and if you set this to be 4d change that so now we see something is going on now it's quite weak, so use a uh, color ramp. So that's by a good amount of number. Copy this noise texture and just use this to drive it. So it will be more detailed. You have to find your heaven looks something like this which is like uh, some part is really big and some part is really small so the value i got is something like that here is like a 0 0.001 which is make this black not go totally black because if it go totally black the black will be too strong this is not very ideal either you can just turn this to be not black like a little bit white i just put it at at the end and use some noise to drive that you can have some different pattern this number for this modifier to be somewhere that's reasonable how would you like your paper to be you can turn it over here and you can turn the pattern over here so now i feel that is quite good and can turn this displace modifier don't forget that displace modifier is driven by this texture so we can still change this to give us some more detail 
So let's do it. Okay, so that is quite like a piece of paper. However, still not perfect because if we look at this kind of piece of paper, although some part it has some hard edge, like a folding part, but some part have some smooth transition. Not always have this hard shadow. Some part is very smooth. That's how we're going to do it later. So we will use a set shade smooth. So when we just plug in, you will see the whole paper will be shade smooth. It lose this kind of polygon look. So what we want is use some noise from here, control where to be shade smooth. So can just plug this in and copy this color to here. And let's try to do something, see if something is going on. Yes, you can see some part is being flat. Some part is will have this polygon. We can turn this to be constant. So we can have this control, something like this. So let's see the wireframe. So basically the bigger part, which is more smoother, will be shade smooth. So you will not have so much like a folding detail. Now go back to take a look our noise to see how can we make it even better. I just do some change for the noise. So the wireframe will be looks like this. Some area is quite big and some area is quite small. It will have some more organic look. And then just control this color ramp to give some reasonable value. Make it a little bit brighter and feed this to the noise and use this noise to drive this decimate modifier and make it like less detail. Just use this set shade smooth. Then just use this displace modifier. Give a, like an overall displace driven by this noise. So that's how you make this piece of paper. So let's give a set material. Material. Material A4. Just pick this. And let's set this material. A little bit metallic. The reflection be stronger. And maybe like a higher roughness and can turn this shin a little bit and then we can use the image texture create a new one and call it a4 and set this color to be white so okay just go to the texture paint and see if we can draw something yeah so now we can just draw something on this piece of paper Okay, so we can save this image, save as. Now we got our piece of paper, very realistic. But if we see the back side, the drawing go all the way to the back. So it's not right. So let's use a mix color to be color. Use a geometry. You see this back facing. So it will give a value for this back or this front. So let's plug this in. So the A is front give this texture and the back we just give some color for your piece of paper so that'll be good so that is our material now let's try to fold this paper so let's create a new geometry so this is very simple just use a set position and give a noise with texture okay so just plug this to the offset and we'll see something like that but it's offset to one side so use a map range and set it to be vector and plug this in minus one to be in the center mix we can mix color to the b and use the position so it will be this original position over here then we can just transition from this Maybe we need to make it this smaller. So use the math, vector math. Okay, so set it to be scale. And just try to bring this smaller. So 
So plug this to the position, not the offset. And then just do something like this and give us some mix for the original position to the noise position and make it like a smaller, use the scale. So you can fold it like this and become like a trash. So that's how you make a A4 piece of paper. You can use a simple deform to make it like a twist. So that, that. That is how you make your A4 piece of paper. And I hope you all make some nice paper. This project will be on my Patreon. So see you next time. Bye bye.